staff on annual leave and you have a vacancy you need to fill for a few days, well, my next guest will talk us through a website which puts employers in touch with temporary employees for casual work. Welcome, Genevieve George, Managing Director of One Shift. Thank How you, are you? I'm well, thank you. So who you? owns this business? I do. You do. <laughs> Typical Gen Y, big, courageous, aspirational, fantastic. So how long has the business been going for? This will be its third month from the third 13th. month. Okay. Yes. How many people have signed up to be casual temporary people for you? Over 10,000 employees around Australia and New Zealand. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. Okay, so um, tell us how it works. So basically, it's like a dating website. An employer can post a job for $20 yeah. and they get three connections out of it. From that, they can search through all the database for people who match their job description yep. and actually watch a video resume as well as their actual resume. So you don't have people hiding behind their resume saying, oh yeah, I've done that, yeah. definitely. Okay. So they really see who they're getting. Okay, give us an example. Like, I often say in my business speeches that a lot of people waste their time doing jobs they shouldn't be doing, mm. you know, $25 an hour jobs. Yep. You know, and and a lot, there are a lot of mums who just want to work between the hours of 10 and 2 while the kids are at school. Are you getting those sort of people signing up on the website? Definitely. Yeah. I mean, we've had advertising agencies for their reception or front of house roles just want someone for two hours or someone's at lunch yeah. instead of pulling staff who could be doing something else. Um, down to the front desk, they say, hey, look, would you like to sit here two hours, pick up the phone five days a week? Yeah. And it's a great opportunity for them to get their you know, name back out there, get there in the business world, but also maintain their role as the mum. Okay, what's the difference between the full-time mar market hmm. and this sort of casual market? So I, I said to you before the break that, well, the job ad numbers were down for now, I think it's five months in a row. Does that affect you in any way? This is actually a great opportunity for us because it's really allowing businesses to say, okay, tough times ahead, mm. let's ride this out, let's adjust our appointment to yeah. suit the peaks and troughs of the markets. Keep it temporary, keep it part time, part -time. until they're, so, they're sure that the economy is going to be good. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So they can make it through, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, okay. So um, in, in terms of um, uh, employers actually accessing, it's just a matter of going to the website. And what is that website? Oneshift.com.au and yeah. they literally put their email address, yeah. a password, they get a verification email to make sure they're real and legit. Yeah. Yeah. And then they can literally start posting jobs, they can break it down into different businesses saying, you know, uh, this is my kitchen staff jobs, this is my um, wait staff jobs, yeah. or they can break it uh, bigger groups like Because they're like, the sort yeah. of businesses, you know, the, the, the coffee shops, the mm. cafes, when people just don't turn up because, exactly. you know, often their workforce can be a little bit uh, itinerant. So how do you actually get a video of these people? Through our website, there's mm. software there that you literally go on, yeah. sit in front of your computer and go, okay, record. Yeah. Hi, I'm Jan and I've done this, 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 yeah. and I really want to do this, 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 this. Yeah. Great. So as an employer, you see that, you see the resume, and you can also have a video interview with them before you actually pick them as a candidate to yeah. make sure that they're really the person that you want. Okay, did this idea come from anything you saw overseas and said, hey, we can do this better than that? No, no one's doing it, which is no, great. It's just so weird, isn't <laughs> Thank it? Thank goodness. Yeah, okay. Um, but basically, I was on a working holiday. I was um, told you can't start work for another month and just kind of went, okay, well, what are we going to do in the meantime? Mm. There's no point going home. So get a job, switched around with some people in the um, hostel, and we just kept running with the local cafes. Yeah. Okay, so, so, but you're saying you're on holidays, mm. but you're, you're an Australian? Yes. Where, where, where were you holidaying? I was in Europe to go work on super yachts and things like that. Oh, okay. And it was an opportunity that was a great opportunity to work on a boat, yeah. but they'd say, hey, we don't actually start for another month, so you've got to sit around and wait. Yeah. And travelling costs money, surprisingly, yeah. so just had to make do until then, and yeah. other kids were actually going home, so it was kind of like, well, there must be something out there yeah. that can help us keep working. Are, are you a digital kind of person, or you just conceptualised the business model and got some geek to, to do it up for you? I was actually just studying a property degree. Um, my mother was in um, human resources, so she really um, understood, the, understood the concept. Yeah. And I also, um, I'm not an IT person, so thankfully I have found some great people to help yeah. me out with that. <laughs> yeah, well, that, that's the bottom line, that, that mm. entrepreneurs are just going to that, the experts to actually make it happen. Exactly. Um, a lot of plug and play these days. Yeah, mm. so are you going to stay specifically in the casual market? Well, this is actually an opportunity for employees to show off their skills, get the foot in the door, mm. and then employers to go, right, let's take you on full time. Mm. This isn't an agency, so there's no clipping of the ticket, there's no um, agency fees, membership fees, anything like that. Mm. So it's a great opportunity for employers to actually try before you buy, essentially. Yeah. So your revenue comes from the employer paying $20 to get three potential candidates? Yes. 
yeah. but they actually shortlist those candidates. So they're essentially looking at thousands of other people who match it, oh. and then they say, you know what, I want to interview you three. Okay. Mm. And once you nominate the three, that's when the $20 is paid over? Yes. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so what's the, the employer reaction at this point in time? Amazing. We can't yeah. actually keep up with it. So yeah. basically we've had over a thousand employers sign up, posting jobs, matching anything from a valuer in Queensland two days a week to a um, little in casino actually, a, bar, uh, a chef for three months stint paid accommodation and food yeah. for that three months. So he's yeah. happy as Larry. <laughs> yeah, without a doubt. Well, mm. look, best of luck with it. It's great to see a young person with entrepreneurial skills and we'll watch your progress. Thank you so much. Thanks for joining us, Genevieve.